All right. So today, I figured I would take a look at someone who is arguably considered probably like the worst person on YouTube at this very moment. J Station. I didn't ever know anything about this guy. I still don't know anything about him. All I know is that he makes these terrible videos about uh, p celebrities after they die where he will, you know, basically like pretend to contact them from beyond uh, through an Ouija board or whatever. And he did this with X when X died. I, I believe he might have done it with Lil Peep as well. So basically, he's a shithead. He's the worst. He's just, I mean, it's unthinkable to me that somebody could seriously be trying to make a living off of doing this when famous people die. And he runs to the internet to do this. Like, as of right now, Mac Miller has been uh, deceased for, I guess, about 24, maybe 30 hours. And as you can see, this video is 13 hours old. The only person who could be compared to him is friggin' Michael McCrudden from uh, before they were famous or whatever, who also uh, has done this with Mac Miller and every other rapper who dies. But I guess you could say that Ma Michael McCrudden's videos are at least mostly just facts, whereas like pretending to contact someone from beyond is really just kind of messed up. So anyway, I'm going to try and watch some of this and see what I think. Let's see what this guy's all about. I didn't watch any of the other ones. I didn't watch the X one. I didn't watch the Peep one. What is popping, guys? Back with another one. As you guys might have heard by now, Mac Miller unfortunately passed away today. He was one of my favorite musicians. I grew up listening to Mac Miller and Wiz Khalifa. Anytime I. Okay, so if he's an actual fan of Mac Miller, that just makes it so much worse. Because I really doubt he actually listened to X and Peep. And I just, the fact that he actually liked Mac Miller and listened to his music and still wants to fucking shit on his name with this disrespectful fucking video is so crazy to me. I hear a Mac Miller song, I immediately think about the days I went to high school in. And today he passed away at age 26, guys. That is too young. Mac Miller made it very clear that he struggled with addiction in his life. Addiction is a very serious thing, guys. I literally have people in my family who struggle. Okay. What a cunt. Ariana Grande. This girl is like my dream girl. I would do anything to just date this girl. And Matt oh Miller my god, he's such a guys. fucking Big mark. Oh. That. But a lot of people are blaming Ariana Grande for Mac Miller's passing. And guys, I When really you say a lot of people, you're Ariana's talking about like a bunch of random internet trolls. It's not like actual people <clears throat> with valid opinions are blaming Ariana Grande. Today we actually got a memorial set up of Mac Miller. We got some candles. We're gonna light it up right now, guys. Today I hope we're his going hand burns to do off. An EVP session to try to communicate with Mac Miller. See if we can hear anything. See if we can actually communicate with him. Maybe he has a message for you guys. I know he's going to a better place now, guys. Smash the like button on this video. Every like on this video is a prayer for Mac Miller, his friends, or his family. Let's try. Oh to no! Oh, are you fucking serious? <sighs> oh, I had no idea what I was getting into here. Oh, yes. My, I have like cringe bumps on my body from that. Oh, my God. As bad as I, th I, I watched this video because I thought it was going to be a cringe fest. That was so much worse than I actually thought it was going to be. Holy shit. We actually got this device right here, which is an EVP device. EVP stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. This device right here scans the AM, FM radio waves at a really, really high pace. It's almost globally accepted that EVPs is a real form for any spirits to communicate to the... Okay, no. 
<laughs> this is not accepted science. Nobody agrees with you that this stupid fucking machine is going to help you talk to someone who's dead. You fucking idiot. The fact that this guy is an actual human being who apparently has an apartment and a life is honestly kind of scary. The fact that he maybe even sort of actually believes in this is terrifying. First little peep died of an overdose. Then the legend XXX Tentacion got shot and murdered. And now the great Mac Miller. There oh. needs to be more help available for anybody facing addiction, guys. Do not do drugs. With all that being said, Don't guys, do drugs. Let's... Oh no. This is terrible. Right now, and in order for this to actually work, guys, we need to send the radio waves to a Bluetooth speaker. So we're just gonna make sure that this is all hooked up. All right, guys, so it is working. This is the sound. Whoa, thought I heard something right there. Oh no. Okay. All right, Mac Miller. If you're around here, if you wanna reach out to us, now is the time. This is what he does. This is seriously it. He just has some fucking machine that makes a bunch of random noises. And then he puts captions of things that obviously are not being said and pretends that that's what is being said through this box. And then as if that's not absurd enough. As if it's not crazy enough to just play some random fucking noise and pretend that it's someone from beyond the grave. He's also attributing it to a specific person for no reason. I am just kind of dumbfounded by this. If there's any spirits available, can you try to look for Mac Miller? We come in peace. Is this seriously going to be 10 more minutes of this in this video? Is this really a thing on YouTube? These videos get millions of views. This is really kind of fucking me up in the head right now. I'm not going to lie. How is this a real thing? How? Demonic. That's a de demonic? How could any person actually fall for this? I want to see the comments. Were you sad about Ariana Grande? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if that's Mac Miller, but that sounds like a girl voice. There could be any amount of spirits talking, but hopefully... Ha this guy and anyone who's actually subscribed to him, he has more subscribers than me. He has 2.7 million subscribers doing this shit. How is this possible? Oh, I've never had... Like, there's a lot of things in pop culture that you look at, and it makes you feel like, oh, no, the world is doomed. Everything's fucked up. I don't know if I've ever felt that more than I feel it right now about this being an actual popular thing online. This has 21,000 likes. I mean, it does have 9,000 dislikes, which I guess is nice. Oh my God, this guy sucks. That's Ariana Grande, bro. The EVP just stopped. The EVP just stopped. What the hell? Didn't you say that? This is freaking crazy, bro. This is reminding me of The Ring right now. But you were just talking about Ariana Grande and how a lot of people are saying this is her fault. Man, I'm getting like goosebumps right now. Maybe he's trying oh to tell us something. Oh my god, man. Yeah, maybe he is trying to tell us something. Ariana Grande appeared on my freaking TV out of nowhere. And before that, Mac Miller was actually on the TV, guys. Let me know in the comments, did we make contact or not? Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Huge respect to the legend, guys. If you guys are going through any addiction or anything like that, please 
get help, reach out to somebody that loves you. Addiction is a disease we all struggle with, including celebrities. And this is just so unfortunate, guys. We lost another amazing person this year. How many more? This guy is addicted to making videos about celebrities who died and doing the most disrespectful shit imaginable just to get some views. And that is the saddest thing that I've ever seen, to be honest. Like, this is, this is insane. The fact that YouTube is allowing this to go on is crazy to me. Like, I really, really feel like... You know, YouTube needs to reach out and needs to be like, yo, you have to stop making these videos, you fucking psychopath. Like, and the end of this video really, really stood out to me as something really disturbing when he pretended that the TV was glitching and showing clips of Ariana Grande as if to almost say, like, it was her fault or something. Could you imagine what it would be like to be her and knowing the shit like this is out there? God, this makes me really glad that I never watched the ones that he made about dudes like X and Peep. This guy is a bona fide piece of shit. And I mean, I don't know. I guess I got to just at least go and toss the dislike. That's the least I can do. Voice my opinion. Anyway, this is the end of this video. Nojumper.com. Jesus. What a fucking asshole.